Oh my gosh. All night long, yeah. We dance with our razor tongues and all day long, yeah. We reset under burning sun, catching the waves, inhale, exhale. Reminisce in the bygone time, laugh till we cry, days flying by. Oh man, okay, turn this. What's up everyone? <laughs> I hope you guys like that footage. That footage is actually from when I went to Lake Arrowhead with the family a couple weeks ago. But yes, I'm back. It's good to be back here, man. So right now, it is about Monday morning. It is about 8.30 a.m. And I actually have to head out to work right now but if you're watching this video you're watching this video because you want to know um, what are the five reasons that people tend to not become developers and when I talk about this topic I'm coming from a point of view on from the literally the thousands of people I've spoken to I literally get hundreds of DMs every single month from people all around the world comments and emails every single day so these are things that people talk to me about and these are things that people tell me why they feel like they want to give up and so I want to share a few what people have told me and one of these five reasons actually apply to you make you watch this and let's talk about this right now all right so as you can tell that's my setup um <laughs> right behind me don't mind some of that uh, diet coke over there don't worry about it reason number one um the first reason that people tend to not become a developer or that people do not make it to the end because to be honest right becoming a developer is one of the hardest things that you'll ever do so one of the first reasons why people end up not making it is honestly number one is that coding isn't that hard but at the same time it can be very hard and it can be very daunting to the point where literally you're always researching. Like I've been coding for about two and a half years already, right? almost a three year mark. I just bought this a couple weeks ago and I'm studying JavaScript, the basics of JavaScript, because even though I code in JavaScript, even though I have written in JavaScript for the last few years, I still don't know enough. And so I still have to push myself to keep learning. And so I think that the first reason, and, and it's not in order in particular in regards to the most, the number one reason why many people give up, but the first reason or one of the reasons that people tend to not make it in the end and not become a programmer is because you really don't love code. Like I literally know people who have a CS degree and can't get a job. Why? Because they just went to school because someone told them that they need to go to school for that. Not because they actually love it. Now to be honest, you cannot love code if you never tried it. And it will be hard at first, which brings me to my second point. The, the second reason why people tend to not make it to the end and not become a programmer is number two, you do not give it enough time. You don't give enough time to actually enjoy it and learn it. I also know many people who actually have tried to learn code, who signed up for Treehouse. I know many people who have actually really put in a couple hours into learning it, only for a week though, and then they gave up. After just a week of learning code, and to be honest, they probably only put in like just a couple of hours, if not only an hour, from that point on, they decide it's not for them, which is really interesting, right? Because actually someone uh, left me a message on Discord. And if you wanna join a community of developers, join my Discord channel, Jerkle today, he said this, I originally decided not to become a developer because while my best mate was one, and I was amazed at the time how he created an application from nothing, I went about it the wrong way. Look at his code, was overwhelmed and got bored. He said, when I started building my own thing seven years later after looking at that code, he completely fell in love with it. You will not enjoy code when you just look at the most basic stuff. You start to enjoy code when you start building things. And so for people who end up not becoming a programmer, you don't give enough time. Yes, you'll, of course you won't enjoy it until you build something. That's the whole point of coding. You build something, like at work right now, I'm replicating another website we have in WordPress, but I'm actually creating it and hard, I'm hard coding it. We're not using WordPress, but I'm creating it with SAS, HTML, jQuery. And so a lot of people tend to not give it enough time. And that's another reason why so many people tend to not make it in the world of code. Okay, so reason number three, it's also because some people think it's too hard. Now, like I said, coding can be hard, and it is. And at the same time, it's not because I love it that much, so I kind of see it in a different perspective. And I enjoy being able to understand something I don't understand, right? But for some people, coding can be too hard. And that's honestly very understandable because it's not easy to do at first, but to be honest, I think you have to look at coding in a different perspective. For example, I play Apex, right? Here's my, check this out. Here's my Xbox. 
as my Xbox, my Xbox headphones, Razer, right? Um, but I'm gonna get the Xbox keyboard and mouse very soon, right here, so it's pretty sick. Now, I'm playing this game called Apex, and I sucked at it. Like, I, I, the only game I'm good at is CSGO, I'm old school. Um, but with Apex, I sucked at it so much, and I honestly, at times, really wanted to stop. But a lot of my friends, cousins, family, and coworkers actually play it, so I pushed myself to keep going. And what I started to notice is after I put in more time into Apex, I, start, I actually started to get really good. Uh, not really good, but a lot better. Um, and and by putting more practice and more effort, I could actually now get like a couple kills every single game. If you want, if you play Apex, hit me up on Discord. Yeah, coding is hard, but to be honest, it's supposed to be hard. That's why we make as much as we do. But it will not always be hard if you put in the hard effort. If you keep going, if you keep pushing yourself, it will make sense. Because I remember literally the first two years of coding, even HTML, CSS, I wasn't the best at it, but I still wasn't that good at making things mobile friendly, right? I'm like I remember thinking, will I ever get better? Will this ever make sense to me? Will I be, ever be able to understand it better? I, I, I kept doubting myself thinking, no, that'll never happen because I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. But two years later, I can build a site from scratch. I, I can picture it on my head, exactly what elements I need to use, what tags I need to use, whatever I need, what CSS, what JavaScript I need to use when building a site. Why? Because I put in the effort, I practice and practice, even if it didn't make sense at first, now it does. And so I think if you're feeling that right now, if you feel like it's too hard, you honestly just have to keep going because I guarantee you it will make much more sense. But anyways guys, shoot, I need to head out to work right now. So let's go ahead and go to my office. I know it's been a while, right? You guys haven't seen my office in a minute. So let me go to my office real quick and we'll continue talking about this when I get back here. I'm a lunch break, all right? So let's go. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working. Hold on. So for some reason, my monitor's not working and Jesse's trying to fix it. Help me, Jesse. Save my life. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Save my life, Jesse. Why are you clicking all that stuff? Save my life, Jesse. <laughs> uh, what happened? It's from watching Apex Legends. From watching too many videos. Yeah, dang it. Alright guys, um, I am leaving work right now, going to the house. I'm not gonna lie, I really don't feel well. I'm honestly kind of worried. I feel like I'm actually about to get the flu. So <laughs> let's hope that I don't have the flu. But anyways, let's go back to the house. Let's finish this video. Then I need to catch up on rest and hopefully I recover really soon. All right, you guys have been waiting long enough, so I'm here back at the house right now. And so let's go ahead and move on to number four. Number four, the, the fourth reason that, honestly, and I think this is actually, one, if not one of the main reasons, one of the main reasons that people do not become a developer is simply because of this. They're not able to find a job. You know, you study code for three months, you study code for six months. And what people have often, like the number one message I get on Instagram, emails, comments, on YouTube, everything, is this. I've been applying for jobs for months, but no one's responding to me. I I applied to my first job, but no one responded. I'm discouraged. Um, people messaging me things about, you know what, Chris, I've been applying to jobs for six months and no one wants to hire me. And because of that, people get so discouraged thinking maybe it's not for me. But I think more than thinking, why are people not hiring you? change that mindset and think of what it is that you need to do now to make sure people hire you. You have to think about why are people not hiring me? Not that I suck, <laughs> because I'll tell you this, until you get a job, you will always suck, <laughs> to be honest. At least for me, that's what I feel um, would be for me. But think of what, why is it that people aren't hiring you? What are you doing wrong on your resume? What is it about your portfolio? Do you even have a portfolio? What have you done to, have, to prove to them that they should hire you and trust that you can get the job done. Okay, let's go to number five, the last thing I wanna talk about right now. Okay, last one. The last reason I really do think that people end up not getting to the industry as a developer, speaking realistically, maybe coding really isn't for you. Maybe you need to find another profession. Um, and I think some people do have to come to that reality. Maybe it's just something that you're not capable of doing. Now, I personally think that everyone is able to at least start learn some code. Because to be honest, to me, when you learn code, coding is just learning how to read a new language. When you learn how to read a language, then you could write what you're able to read, right? You're literally just reading. And it does take time and it, it can be very hard. For me, it was very difficult. <coughs> Sorry guys, oh man, yeah, I'm feeling it now, I have a fever right now, and I really do think I have the flu. 
like, yeah, I generally do believe that people, anyone can become a developer, but maybe it's not for you. Maybe you really don't enjoy it. Maybe you just don't like it, right? You're doing it just for the money. And I'll tell you this, you'll have to learn as long as you're coding and maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you want to do something else where you don't have to keep learning as much. This field is very competitive and it's always growing and we have to push ourselves. Coding is not always easy. And so you have to come to that reality. And I'll tell you this though, one thing to point out is that I always thought this to myself. I remember thinking, maybe coding isn't meant for me. Maybe it's, I'm not meant to be a programmer, right? And I thought that almost every single day, to be honest, within my first one or two years as a programmer. Now I know it's what I'm meant to do. I love it, but maybe it's not. And so you have to come to that reality and maybe you need to look for something else. But if you really want it, if you really love it, and you're doing what, willing to do whatever it takes to change your life and your family's life, then why give up, right? So yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video. This video, honestly, took me a couple days. I'm getting sick, I'm not feeling well. And yeah, I'm back on the video train. New video will go out on Friday. I hope you guys love this. Thank you guys. Please like the video if you can, subscribe if you haven't. But if you want to chill, if you want to talk, if you want to play Apex with me, or whatever you want to play, hit me up on Discord. This is Krishan, this is the life of a web developer, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.